Hello students, welcome back to our online tutorial natin. So, continue tayo, problem number 17. A 4 meter simply supported beam daw has a hollow cross section of 150 by 200 mm and a thickness of 1 inch. Determine that the maximum uniformly distributed load which can be applied over the entire span of the beam if shearing stress is limited to 1.2 MPa. Now, for clarification lang, hindi sinabi no kung ang 150 by 200 is the outer or ang hollow. Okay? Bale, I think... Uh, anyway, we will, solve, uh, we will solve using the two options na lang. But I think, weird, no? If it is the hollow part. Kasi, meaning, the outer part will be not... Uh, dadan, parang hindi exact ba? So, I think, ang outer part is the 150 by 200. And while ang inner part, you should subtract, no? With the, the thickness of 1 inch. Another weird, then, is yung 1 inch. Hindi ko get bakit inch, no? Bakit hindi pwedeng in mm na lang. Sige. So, solve natin. By the way, uh, it will actually look like this, no? Hmm, bali ganito. Ayan. Okay. Ayan. Parang pa ganyan. So, for stress, uh, although, uh, although alam natin, no, na ang stress is uh, force over area, but since this is a beam, no, uh, the stress that is uh, that we want is actually the horizontal stress, no, so which is VQ over IB. Since the load is not actually directly, no, uh, I mean, we need to direct stress, no, so we'll be using VQ over IB for this one, horizontal stress. Sige. By the way, uh, I hope alam niyo pa kung ano yung V, ano yung Q, ano yung I, at saka ano yung B. So VQ over IB tayo. Sige. So, uh, mga data man natin. So, ayos na lang. Kopyahin ko muna ito and then lipat natin dyan. So, let's just say this is B outer and then ito yung B uh, B1 and B2 na lang para dito yung malito. So, this is B1. This is B2. Yeah. And then this is the thickness. Yan. Yeah. Okay. Sige. So, let's start. Uh, sandali, copyhin ko muna to. Lagay natin dito. So, I think okay na yan, no? <laughs> yan, sige. So, uh, ay, nakalimutan ko yung D1 at saka D2. But anyway, I think okay lang. So, B1, uh, based on the given, I assume B1 to be 150, which means B2 should be uh, 150 minus 2T. So, actually, sinabi sa problem na ang thickness is 1 inch. So, 1 inch is actually 2.54 or 25.4 in mm. No? So, yan. So, meaning, ang B2 is a smaller distance than 92. So, same then, ang D1 will be the uh, longer diameter, which is, I mean, longer depth, which is 200, which makes D2 equal to uh, 200 minus 2T. Diba? So, we have 149.2. Now, important to take note, ha? Uh, please store these values calculator para direction na tayo. Okay? So, uh, stress. So, gawin natin ito. F, B, or horizontal stress is actually equal to V times Q over I times B. Okay? Sige. So, F, B, binigay sa problem, that's 1.2. V. V is actually the stress, no? Caused by the load. Now, we are asked for the load, but... Since this is a simply supported beam, I think it's obvious, no, that the maximum stress will occur. The support, di ba? Which is yun yung pinakamalaking stress. And then, ang reaction sa support, alam natin, for a uniformly distributed load in a simply supported beam, the reaction is simply WL over 2. So, ilalagay ko lang agad dito. W, V is W, which is yan yung unknown. Ang L, W, ang L, actually, binigay sa problem, L is 4 meters of 4,000 over 2. Ayan yung V. Okay. Next is ang Q. Ano pala yung Q? Q is actually the moment area, no? Of the uh, moment area of one of the sections. Actually, supposedly equal yan. Based on the neutral axis. For example, based on the neutral... Ito yung neutral axis natin. Now, let's consider the upper section ito. Okay. Actually, o oh, pwede din dito sa ababa. But actually, same lang yan. Considering the upper section, moment area tayo. So, we will consider a whole rectangle minus half a rectangle. Okay? The same way, we will uh, solve for the moment of inertia 
whole rectangle minus yung rectangle dito. Okay? I mean, ito ba? Whole rectangle minus hollow rectangle. So, for the whole rectangle, ang moment area simply equal to the area of the rectangle. Okay? And then, multiply natin sa moment arm of this bigger rectangle. So, ang area ng rectangle na yan, above the neutral axis, the bigger one is B1, multiplied by half of D1. Di ba? Ito yun. B1 multiplied by this distance. We're talking about this big area. Yeah, we're talking about that big area. So, that's uh, D1 over 2. So, meaning that is, uh, tayo. B1 times D1 over 2. However, the moment arm, I hope you agree, no? Ang moment arm is actually half of D1. Diba? Tama ba? Yan ha? So, yan yung area. But since this is a moment area, we need to get the moment. So, ang moment arm or ang centroid of this shaded area is actually here. That is actually half of D1 over 2. So, that's actually D1 over 4. And anyway, para di kayo man ito, lalagay ka lang dito. I think, okay naman siguro, D1 over 4. Yan yung distance now of that area to the neutral axis. Ganyan kasi yung Q. Q is actually area bar the Y. And then, we're talking about the area above or below the neutral axis. So, ang area above the neutral axis, that's B1 times D1 over 2. Again, uh, whole area minus hollow tayo ha. Kasi meron kasi hollow part. Sige, so considering the whole shaded area, you know. So, ito yung area, and then ang moment arm is D1 over 4. I hope na niya, bakit D1 over 4 yan? Okay. And then, minus, we will subtract the hollow part. So, yung hollow part, actually, same lang yan. That's B2 times uh, D2 over 2. And then, ang moment arm naman niya is actually, that is D2 over 4. Again, sir, saan galing yan, sir? So, dito yan, ha? So, Q. So, uh, let's talk about the hollow area. Yung hollow part naman, ito yon Ang area ng hollow part is ito. Kaya yan, B2 multiplied by, this is actually D2 over 2. Kaya ito yun, no? Yan, no? B2 multiplied by D2 over 2. And then, ang moment arm or ang centroid dito is actually here, which is at a distance D2 over 4. Kalahati ng D2 over 2. Okay? So, yan. Next, uh, I think, yan lang, uh, I think ito na yung Q. Ang I, moment of inertia, simple lang, no? Uh, BH cube over 12. However, we have a hollow section, uh, i-minus na natin. Walang mangyayari yung transfer moment of inertia since both the centroids of the hollow and the whole, the hollow and the whole uh, section actually coincides with the neutral axis. So, walang transfer moment to. So, BH cube over 12 lang, but i-minus natin considering the whole. So, B... 1, H1, or D1 pala. Cube over 12 minus B2, uh, D2 cube, BH cube over 12. Next, ano yung B? Uh, diba sa V cube over IB, B is actually the length of the cut. Notice, meron tayong, ang length of the cut is actually 2T. Ito, at saka dito sa kabila. No? So that is 2 times T. Yan na? Dalawang T ito at saka ito. So, yan. Supposedly, uh, you have your whole equation na the only unknown here is actually W kasi ang B1 na store mo sa kalkyo mo, ang D1 na store mo sa kalkyo mo, all of these are given except for W. No? It's up to you how to solve for W. Ako gagamit ako ng uh, software na lang. But, kung mapapansin nyo, to, uh, to fit this in the calculator, ang gagawin ko na lang is ito. 1.2 is equal to oh, sandali, yung B1. B1 pala. So, anyway, ang B1, I'll store 150. Store ko dito sa A. Uh, 200. Store ko sa B. And then, uh, A minus, uh, sandali, ang T, which is 25.4. Store ko sa letter C. Uh, sa E pala. And then, A minus 2T. Yan, store ko yan sa letter C, yung 92. And then, B minus 2 T, store ko yan sa letter D. Sige, so check na natin makakasya ba ito sa calculator. So, that's 1.2 equals uh, W. So, W, again na, as much as possible, less than the equation. No? So, gawin ko na lang X times, or 2000X, no? 2000 times X. Multiplied by 
Again, para mas short, this will become B1 is A, D1 is C. So that is A times C all over, ano yan, A times C all over A, minus, uh, paano ba ito? Uh, nala, nalilito ako mismo. B times D over A. Over 8. Nakakalito. And then B1. So that's A times C. Tama ba? Q. I think mali. Uh, supposedly this is not yes, C but B. no. Sorry, sorry. That's AB. Dapat AB yan kasi. AB. And then ito. This is CD. Diba? For the hollow part. C, D. And then ito naman. This is A, B. Cube over 12. Minus C, D. Cube over 12. The whole equation is multiplied by ito. 2T. Anyway, ang T na store ko naman sa calcule. Which was, actually, pwede nyo namang i-algebra to. Uh, I-solve nyo since this is constant, no? You, did, you do not need to use shift solve for this one. Times 2 times t is actually nasa e. Sige, shift solve. And then a, b, c, d. Check natin ang value ng w. Naku, mali nga. Anyway, check na natin dito. Uh, solve natin yung w. Solve w. 4.66. So, tama yung sagot natin. Actually, 4.6 siguro dahil hindi tayo nag off. However, bakit tayo nagkamali dito? Saan ba yung mali natin dito? Tama naman. A, B. A, B, C, D. Tama naman tayo. 1.6 is equal 2,000x times A, B over 8 minus... Ah, ito pala. This is squared, no? A, B squared pala yan. Si D1. So, A, B squared. A, C, D. Square. So, shift solve na natin ulit. Mm, yan, 4.66. Okay? Sige, so I think that's it. Ha? So, yan yung teknika para magkasya sa calculator. Sige, so anyway, if you have any questions or clarifications, please do not hesitate to comment down below if you notice na may mali sa solution ko. Sige, so yan. Uh, I think yan lang. Maraming salamat sa panonood. And see you sa next video natin. Salamat, salamat.